Hello everybody. I'm like scratching my nose so I start the video. Um, <laughs> today I'm coming at you from the beach, not from my usual porch location. And today I wanted to give a little update on what I've been hearing through the grapevine about border runs and some changes or just some different experiences that I've heard of pe people having. So if you're new to this or if you're kind of new to this topic, so when you come into Costa Rica, well, you're probably you're coming in through plane or whichever way you're coming in, they're going to ask you usually when you're leaving. So you are granted a tourist visa when you come in and that can go up to 90 days but that doesn't mean that they have to give you 90 days like typically when I've come in from the airport they just automatically stamp me for 90 days but they could choose to do anything less than that I mean if I said I'm leaving in a month they could just give me 30 days or you know 31 days so just keep that in mind and so what people do when they're down here and they want to stay longer than the 90 days. So let's say you came in from the airport, you were stamped 90 days, um, and then you were planning to stay for, let's say, six months or longer. So a lot of times what people do is they will go, like let's say, so in my area, in Minuvita, we go down to Panama <coughs> on the Pacific side. If you're up north, you might go up to Nicaragua. If you're in the Caribbean, you might go down to the Caribbean side of Panama. So I'm just going to speak to my experience of going through Panama because I've been through both borders of Panama. But I more typically do the one here on the South Pacific side since that's like, it's like two hours away from me without traffic. So it's pretty quick. So some things that I've been hearing as changes is that what I just noted. So, you know, people have booked their leaving ticket. So you go down to leave Costa Rica and you enter Panama and then you Usually I sit around, um, do some shopping, have some lunch, and then I exit Panama, and then I re-enter Costa Rica, and that renews my visa. So what I have been hearing is that if, let's say, you've booked your return flight, or maybe you already have one, um, for you know less than that 90 days, some or like let's say if you booked it for a week later, I've I've heard of people getting just like a seven-day visa because that's what they said. So I think they're getting a little bit more strict down there with some things, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, again, if you're new to the whole concept, people leave through the border to renew their visa. So to re renew that 90 days, or if you got less. So that's kind of just an update on some of the changes. I did another video on border runs, uh, but I will kind of just highlight some of the main points of that for someone who's not really familiar with the process. So when you go down, you obviously need to have your passport. Um, Costa Rica, like you leave Costa Rica, so you pay this exit tax, you go and you leave, they stamp you out of Costa Rica, you walk over to Panama, they stamp you into Panama, but a lot of times when I'm in Panama, they have asked when I'm leaving Panama. <laughs> so I book a plane ticket, usually with the 24 hour cancellation guarantee, I book a plane ticket leaving Panama, and I book a plane ticket leaving Costa Rica. So they're no longer really accepting just like, oh, I'm going to buy a bus ticket, or they want to see an actual ticket on your phone or printed. So like I said, you can get the ones that you can cancel. Don't just go buy a ticket if you don't need one. Like, make sure you just set like 10 alarms to cancel it within 24 hours. <laughs> um, but make sure it's a real reservation, because I've also heard that now too. Like, I used to reserve through American Airlines, and they would put like a ticket on hold for you without any credit card information, but I have heard now that they they can check on that. So they're just getting a little bit more strict. So just a few more things to keep in mind. So you'll want your passport, your exit ticket for Costa Rica, your exit ticket for Panama, um, a credit card with your name on it or some kind of bank statement showing, um, I don't remember the amount. Look at my other video. I th I think it might be over $300. They want to see that you have money to support yourself. So just to be on the safe side, bring a credit card with your name on it. Um, but I mean, there are other documentation that you can show. I mean, I wouldn't bring cash with you, like that a large amount of cash, not a good idea. But you know, if you can do a bank statement or a credit card, that's ideal. Passport, ticket leaving Panama, ticket leaving Costa Rica, credit card. Um, I hope I'm not missing anything. I think that's it. Um, 
there was one more thing I did want to say on this topic. Um, I don't completely remember what else I was going to say, but um, I think, okay, so technically they could have you out of the Costa Rica for 72 hours, like three days, but that's never happened to me. Typically, like I said, I just go down, I enter into Panama, I have some lunch, I do some shopping, it's cheaper down there to buy some stuff, so I like to load up on like my household items, diapers, all that fun stuff have some lunch so like just don't make it blatantly obvious that you're like at the window leaving Panama and no entering Panama and then all of a sudden you're like you go to the next one to exit like just go do something <laughs> um, and also don't overstay your visa um, don't do that uh, I've done that before because of my pregnancy and just don't just don't do that it's not worth the risk they could deport you and you could have to be out of the country for years so do your border runs um, just do them pay attention to when your 90 days is up and make sure and make sure you know it's 90 days there's not always third just 30 days in a month you know so calculate which day you need to leave by and I don't even recommend leaving on the very last day make sure that you go a week ahead or two weeks ahead that way just in case anything comes up your car breaks down on the way your ride cancels on you whatever happens um, you're not like on your last day going oh my god I'm gonna be you know my visa is gonna expire and I couldn't get down there all right, so that's all I got. You guys are welcome to ask me any questions below in the comments. If you wanted to have a personal phone call and chat more about Costa Rica, um, any questions that you have personal to your situation, it's kind of difficult to answer questions on here. You know, people ask a very general, like, well, how much money do you need to live down there? Well, that's kind of hard to answer because everyone wants to live differently. People have different standards. But what I can do is chat with you and kind of give you a realistic perspective of, or you know get to know you a bit more and see how you want to live what kind of things you want to be doing down here and you know what kind of housing you even want and then help you build a budget off of that because yeah I definitely need more specifics before I just tell people a number on how much they need to live down here because there's a lot of factors that go into it and yeah so even if you just have any other specific questions pertaining to you like of coming down here I, f I realize everyone's situations are a little different so it helps to know the whole situation and I noticed you know there's not really just like one answer fits all for a lot of these things that people are asking so feel free to contact me my information is down in the description and yes if you'd like to have a private chat about that you can look up those services down below and hope you all have a wonderful day hope this answered some border run questions for you and that's it.